Hey guys, what's up? My name is Anthony. Welcome to another edition of BNA Sports Talk, episode 447, and it's going to be an all Giants episode. Now, we start running out of topics in Giants land. That's why I kind of feel bad for some Giants creators. What are you going to talk about OTAs? You're talking about, oh, the Giants, uh, now we have 100% attendance, which is, you know, a pretty big deal, but all you, have, you start reaching for stories, and that's why... I try to expand during the summer. I don't really like talking about basketball, but I want to talk about the New York Giants today. Um, I want to talk about Daniel Jones. But before we get into that, uh, I've been uploading a decent amount of shorts on my um, my YouTube page. I've also been doing a couple stuff on BNA Sports Instagram. Just a couple of like, just quick take stuff, some um, faster paced stuff. I'm gonna try to put a little bit more editing into those things, a little more high quality because I really want to learn, make things look nice. But definitely uh, do give those a chance. Give those pieces of content a chance. Because I enjoy making them. So, uh, I want to talk about Daniel Jones and his quads, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> like, i just looking at his strength. Now, you don't want a quarterback to look too ripped. Because, like, okay, what are, you, are you not focusing on, like, the little things? But we know Daniel Jones has the playbook down now. He, he knows how to do, you know, go through his read. He's, I think he's going to have that stuff down. Because he's going to be more familiar in the offense. It's still a little bit of a concern how fast he can process but it's like uh, it's like learning how to read and learning how to speak out loud. You know, it, it gets fat. You get faster the more and more you practice, the more you get used to things. And he has a plurality of weapons. That's not going to be that big of a deal. I've talked about in the past that this year is going to be a great year because no COVID, no Eli Manning, and it's going to be you know a way for him to get everyone together. He had the April thing where he all brought the teammates together um, in Arizona, and now that's a big deal. No, you have people speaking out about his leadership. And um, yeah, so I think Daniel Jones, it's going to keep on rolling onward and onward. And then his play is going to have to speak for itself, you know. And uh, we'll get into more specific of what, you know, Giants are going to do later. And, you know, we, we, we have all off season to talk about so that sort of thing. But just looking at his work ethic, he, he's willing to learn. He loves the game of football. He doesn't just do this for the money. He doesn't just do this for the fame or, you know, I don't think a lot of quarterbacks do that. That's the kind of what it takes to be an NFL quarterback. But it, you know, he's not a, you know, a Baker Mayfield a couple years ago with all these advertisements. He's more of like a down-rooted guy like a Sam Donald. I just want to work. But, you know, you, work, you worry about Sam Donald things like off the field. You don't have to worry about that about, that, about Daniel Jones. You know he's going to go home. He, he has, does he have a girlfriend? I don't even know. But, you know, he's going to go home. You're not going to worry about him going out to a club, a bar, anything like that. And he's going to outwork everybody. He's going to show up early. And he has the basic stuff down. Now he needs to get that playmaking, that Patrick Mahomes stuff. And I'm not saying he needs to be that. He just needs to tweak it up a little bit. He just needs to you know get a little better, get him more comfortable. And don't be anybody you know who you're not. Uh, that's the thing. Don't try to be all of a sudden this like playmaker that runs because that's not his game. His game is executing an offense. You know, deep ball passing. And uh, let's switch on to that. Number one deep ball passer in 2020. Now we knew that. You know, we knew that stat. But it's also just like the small sample size. Like the only reason when he threw it downfield is when he thought he had a great opportunity. Around a little less than a 50% completion percentage, but it's 13% above expectation. He just really struggled on like the out routes, like the ones closer towards the sideline where you really have to like force it that way. That's what he really struggles on. But in the middle of the field, the dude, the dude's insane. Deep middle, that's his bread and butter. And uh, you can see in next-gen stats, I probably won't have it in this video, but, like, his interceptions towards the outer portions deep are, like, not that good. But he had a 134 passer rating deep. Uh, I believe number two, was it Baker Mayfield? We have, like, Kyler Murray up there. It's not just quarterbacks. It's just like, oh, he had a small sample size. You know, Cam Newton's not going to be on the top of that list. You know, it's your Aaron Rodgers. It's good quarterbacks, which gives me a good – because if you come out the list and that list spews out, like – um you know, Case Keenum uh, at the top of the list, then you know your guy's not good. But at the top of that list is Aaron Rodgers. Like, if you're coming off the QBR stat and the number one guy is Mitch Trubisky, it's just like, okay, no, we got we to gotta toss this thing out. But deep ball passing, he's great at it. I've, we just need to do more of it. That number is obviously going to go down, but he was the most improved from 2019 to 2020. That's what it was. And that gives me confidence in Jason Garrett's play calling ability because we really didn't have that many weapons. So that means the plays that did work were working and he was able to execute those so you know your Austin Mack he had a deep one there um you know he had a couple of Darius Slayton especially in that Steelers game and uh, if you look at our wide receivers last year compared to this year it's like oh 
you know, that we're way better this year. And then you have a John Ross. You're going to have a guy that's going to be able to get open, create separation for Daniel Jones. And then you also have a guy in Kenny Galladay that should be like, oh, even though he's not open, he's open. So, like, even if he's getting pressured, you'd be like, oh, I'll just chuck it up to him. It's kind of like a little bit of a safety net. Now, with this, I'm also expecting the Giants to have a little bit more easy completions for Daniel Jones. So he's not going to have to rely on those deep passes. Like, we didn't really rely on those. In fact, we didn't really do a lot of those. Like, I'm not talking about just short curls, which we did a lot last year. I'm just talking about sweeping it out to Kadarius Tony, sweeping it out of Zango and Barkley, and just saying, run. You know, it, we had, to, I think, one play with Golden Tate against the Jets, where just like he took a screen 50 yards. But, you know, I, I want more plays where it's just like Daniel Jones just pick, okay, I'll dump it off and see what he can do. I'll make one read or something like that, and, okay, give it, give it to, uh, you know, even throw it behind like a screen and have the players and have the blockers do the work, rely on that sort of thing. And that's why uh, I kind of like the Giants' offense this year because, like, we could just bring in guys in any certain portions of the game. And uh, some of them have versatility like Kadarius Tony. He's not just a screen guy. He needs to develop his route running because uh, he's a little bit too, like, finesse with it. Um, you know, but he's fast. He's quick. He can do that sort of thing. And then we have guys that can do it. We have a basketball team at wide receiver, which is pretty good. Um, I was going to mention Saquon Barkley. I'll save it for a different video. Uh, just a couple other notes. Ellerson Smith um, is – I'm actually kind of confident in the guy. It seems like he's a good developmental guy that needs to work on his strength. Kind of like a Matt Parrott. This is like our Matt Parrott from last year. He needs to work on his strength. I think he's going to show out in the first couple of games. And then the film is going to kind of catch up to him. They're like, okay, this is what he's doing. But, you know, he, he, had, a, he had really good production at Northern Illinois, wherever, wherever he went. So I, for, I forget the exact school. So Sorry. But, um, yeah, I think to develop his frame, he seems like a guy with a great work ethic. He put on the pounds. Uh, he's able – he has that rip technique – uh, I think that he needs to do a little better in the run game. But I think, bulk, you know, bulk up a little bit, but become an NFL player. And I think he's in the right environment for him to develop if he's ever going to develop. So uh, Ellerson Smith, I'm liking what I'm seeing from him. We officially signed him today. We, we obviously were expecting that. But, you know, it's just, just kind of reminiscing. Like, that, that might be actually a good pick. Because now you, like, you have flexibility with Lorenzo Carter and O'Shane Zimenez. Uh, as far as, you know, if they're not good, you, you feel comfortable just getting rid of them. And not having to fish out in the market. You have a developmental guy that you feel confident in. Um, not just, you're not just saying, oh, own a Digbo. Maybe we'll sign him long term and he, he'll, he'll be the guy. Seems like Ellison Smith can be the guy there. And then, um, yeah, I'm, I'm just excited for this Giants season. Uh, in tomorrow's video, I may do a Saquon Barkley topic. I may do a Saquon Barkley, Will Hernandez topic. But for now, I want to thank you guys for listening, watching this video. Again, give the, my videos a chance. Like the shorts, I think some of them are really funny. Like I, I've been watching them. I've been sharing them with my friends. What gives me confidence in the, the sort of content I'm making, I'm like, if I want to share it with my friends, which I'm hesitant to do, I know I made a good video. I know I'm confident. I know like these are less creative. These are just me talking, so I'm less apt to share. Um, cause it's not, I'm not going to think that my friends are like, Oh, that was a really funny video. Did you hear him talk about Daniel Jones's quads for three minutes? And then I'll talk about the giants offensive scheme somewhat for the next three. Like, yeah, it's not that, but, um, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video, enjoying the content I've been producing. Um, yeah. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.